Da Jiao Hao. I am Keith Newton, the International Secretary General of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. It is a pleasure to speak to you all attending the 7th China International Logistics Development Conference in Tangshan in Hebei province. I was with you last year in Xi Jiazhuang, and I'm sorry that we cannot be together to meet this year. But I can be with you here virtually today, and I do hope to see you all again in 2021. What I'm planning to cover today is to introduce you all to both myself and to the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, and to look at how we can learn together in this very different supply chain world. I'm also going to suggest ways that we can respond to that changing world. Your conference theme today is working hand in hand to overcome the difficulties, build mutual learning and create innovative development. And my presentation is our thoughts as CILT on how we can support you with delivering this objective, how to work together, how to learn together and how to share and create new ways of working. As I said, I'm Keith Newton. I've been the Secretary General since 2012. I come from uh, 30 years experience in food manufacturing and the supply chain. I've run factories and distribution centers and been involved in international projects across many parts of Europe, North America, Africa and Asia. I like food and so I've enjoyed my time making potato crisps and chocolate. And I've been a member of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport and led the organization um, internationally here for the last eight years. A little bit about who we are in the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. We are, as you see, a global family. Usually we bring to the China conference over 70 people from all parts of the world. So today I've just got a photo for you. We are the leading professional body for everyone who works in supply chain, logistics and transport. And we're a global family representing professionals at all levels and across all sectors with a mission to give individuals and organizations access to tools, knowledge and connections that are vital to success in the logistics and transport industry. Last year, in Xijiaz Huang, we met two delegates from Korea at the China conference. And this year on May the 14th, we welcomed them as our 36th branch, CILT Korea. In the current situation facing professionals globally, we have many qualities. We are first and foremost professionals representing the industry. We cover all sectors of that industry, road, rail, sea, port, supply chain, transport planning, warehousing, and all other transport and logistics sectors. We are not political, but we offer advice and policy support to governments in every country we work in. So how do we respond to the current issues that have so changed our world in the last six months. There is so much that has been impacted by the coronavirus situation. We are a long way from the end of that. People are already speaking of the new normal, but in reality, we are still reacting to the situations that are being created and we're not yet finding solutions to every issue. We are seeing more questions than answers. And here on this slide are some of the questions. How much will global trade fall? Will there be dramatic changes in manufacture and where we manufacture? 
will there be a global depression? How do we change how we plan and be more ready for disasters before they happen? Our skills and behaviours will need to change, but how? And what about bigger questions than the coronavirus and issues that lie ahead and that we are avoiding globally, such as climate change? For China and the world, trade disruption and possible changes in manufacture are real potential impacts. Trade barriers have become a reality in the last two to three years, and we need to respond to that as professionals. Over the last few years, there have been increases and big increases in Belt and Road activity and volumes moving along the Belt and Road. Progress has been made, but that will be set back. And we need to learn together and work together and share solutions as we deal with those facts. Increasingly, our world is moving online. And the example is before you today that I'm speaking to you from many miles away in the UK. Our training and education are with 85 providers globally and that has changed dramatically in the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport in just a few short months. We have been responding to that and so have our partners and our students and our CILT countries. This give, gives us great opportunities in the future to learn globally and to share information. We can, in fact, deliver more easily. And we are now open to more students and more situations. But we need to ensure behind that that the standards in examination and assessment are upheld and respond to, to the new formats of education and training. This is coupled with an acceleration of digital and automation globally. Short-term governments, ports, transport operators and shipping companies have responded by seeking electronic exchange of information and the removal of paperwork. Immediately, many businesses have adopted in the past few months new processes and systems that previously would have taken several years to adopt. New tech Technologies have been given a boost and are being taken on as solutions to move goods faster and more efficiently. As an example, Maersk, Maersk announced globally their partnership with the Sri Lankan terminal operator SAGT on the use of blockchain terminology recently. And Maersk have announced that with other operators across the world. This type of solution will become increasingly common, but at the same time will need to be proven and cost effective as short term capital investment in things like technology and automation will be constrained by the availability of cash and the availability of capital and will need to be a key part of invest investment decisions. So how do we respond to this changing situation as professionals? In the Institute, we began our planning uh, within a week of the COVID lockdowns happening in Europe in March. We faced as an organization potentially losing half of our income. But by June, we had found sources and income and reduced that potential loss by 50%. We did that by planning. Um, here you can see our plan on a page for the Institute as our CILT response to COVID-19. So plan, plan and plan again. Leadership is important, financial planning is important and a focus on your customer. 
how do we succeed in a high risk environment? And here are a few thoughts from myself and the Institute. We can succeed, but we need to do that step by step. We need to work collaboratively, not competitively. We need to be on top of our financials, but not controlled or limited by them. This balance between opportunity and risk translates itself also into financial decisions, not simply closing down organisations, but looking at opportunities for new revenue. We should seek to be international in our outlook, looking for global solutions and looking to share those solutions globally. We have to be professional, not politically, but not political as leaders of our industry. And we need to recognize short, short and long term factors and build that into our planning. Our president, Radzak Malik, who you heard earlier, has set out our leadership focus in the organization. And I uh, show you here our five focus areas for the next two years. They are very relevant to the current situation um, with the coronavirus. We should be inclusive and care for every member and partner. And whatever our organization is, that focus on our customer and our people is critical for any organization. It's fundamental we find solutions long term for the climate situation globally. So green technology and sustainability needs to move back to the forefront of our organizations, whether that's CILT or any supply chain organization. We in CILT are looking for new uh, territories and new regions as we did with CILT in Korea. And any business needs to look for those new opportunities as well as managing the risk. And we need to share best practice in managing the crisis, share and collaborate. Very important that we don't become competitive um, as professionals. And we encourage our politicians to collaborate and not to compete. Digitization in Industry 4.0 is our fifth focus area as an institute. And I've spoken a bit about that earlier in dealing with the coronavirus um, situation. So how do we facilitate ways to trade um, more efficiently and more effectively through IT and new mediums. We have had a long partnership with you in China through CILT China and through this conference. And this is the seventh time that I've attended the conference. So let us work together and learn from each other because of the COVID crisis, not despite the COVID crisis. We can overcome the difficulties. We are stronger together. Shei Shei, Zai Jian, Ming Yang. Thank you very much.